Jesus. It's 11.30 in the night. Most people are crawling into bed, but not the man in the house behind me. If you thought it's time to go out and party, mm -mm -mm. it's time to go to work. Get ready for the life of a control room operator at CUC. Hey! Good night. Good night. Franz. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, you, was, you look tired, man. No one, no one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a usual thing. All right, I, I see so many cars out here. Which one is your G-Ride? Which one? <laughs> well, I'm actually going to get a ride with my co-worker, Edlin. You know, we try to help each other. Your car pulling. Yes. You're being energy efficient. Yeah, I want. So you see, <laughs> rubbing off. All right, lead away, man. All right, no All problem. Right. Already, I felt like I was part of the team. Franz and Edlin seemed like nice guys, and they gave me the front seat. G-Ride, guys, all right? We're going to work when it's pitch black outside. Yeah. Most people are, are, uh, are in for the night. But if not we enjoying themselves. Exactly, so what did you do today? What did I do? <laughs> you, you slept today? Oh yes, have to. You have to get in some sleep. You have to, you know, make sure you do whatever you can because if you also if you sleep too much during the day you don't go sleep before it's time to go to work so so and then how how old are you uh, 26 years old right franz how, how old are you 37. two young caymanians watching over the, the entire island ensuring that we all have power i'm 33. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we're, we're all we're all uh, young young men. Yeah. So, why why see you see? I mean, what 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 drew you to to them specifically? Well, when I went into CUC, I was coming out of industrial field. I used to operate heavy equipment. Mm -hmm. So you know, I wanted that same experience, but then on a wider scale. You know. Wow. So it was just a great experience for me, and I enjoyed it very much. So. I just continued on and now I'm here mm -hmm. going on 13 years. What? 13 years, that, that's, that's uh, loyalty and also that, that means that they're also looking out for your best interest. They're, they're, yes. they're investing in you um, to, to keep you there. So I, I, I'm excited, man. <laughs> I'm excited to see this plan. So we pulled up to CUC and after many security checks and physical gates, we got to Franz's headquarters and we couldn't just walk in. First, we had to get suited up in proper safety gear. The first thing I noticed was the deep roar of the engines. So Franz also promised a tour of an engine room. Once again, I noticed security features and all of the precautionary measures CUC has taken to ensure no unauthorized personnel can get into the control room. This is it now, right? Yeah, this is it. Welcome to the central control room. What? Oh. <laughs> what? Yes, yes. Like we're in NASA. Yeah, I'm telling you. This is the system supervisor, operation supervisor. Nice, nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Nice. This is the control room operator. Nice, nice to see you. All right. They are, there's a lot of information that I'm looking at. So. You guys are monitoring. Is it duplicates of the same information? Yes. Pretty much. What, what am I looking at here? What is this, for, for example? Are you looking at the schematics for the, the way the current is distributed, the T&D, transmission distribution? Right. The current flow of leaving CUC right. straight to, to somebody's home. So we can go in north, south. Well, not initially to the in. home, but to the substation that feed the house, All right. okay, the okay. residents. So you can see what is going on if a breaker trip, if a breaker open. Mm -hmm. You can all see it on the screen right and here. And this looks like um, those electrical drawings. I remember mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jones, oh. UCCI. Oh, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I, I, was, I spent many classes drawing schematics. So if you're interested in getting a, into engineering as a career, yes. What I'm looking at is, you know, this, this is, this is, I remember the basics of this stuff. Right. So you can start to get your education right here in Cayman. What is that noise? That's alarm. That's alarm coming in. Oh, from the plant. The plant, the melting, right? No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. 
Carlos got it. Yes, he got it under control. <laughs> Keep us safe, Carlos. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, somebody trying to report a fault or somebody wondering why the power is out could be okay. possibly or somebody reporting seeing something sparks coming from a transformer or a line hanging. I've seen that. I, I I I saw a frog. Yes. Get it, bro. Yes. And a loud one loud boom. Yes. And and then so so that what what, what is happening? When an animal gets up there and, 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 and causes a loud, loud noise. That's a fuse on um, blowing. Next up, Fran showed me all the CUC engines displayed in graphic form. I could see the current load, the capacity of each engine. Also, the system would display any alarms or faults, hinting to any problems that could occur. They also showed me the level of fine detail that these powerful engines displayed. They could see it all. Oh, so so this now. is a visual representation of, of the raw power. Right. I'm seeing RPMs. This one is at 514 yeah. RPMs. Uh, this engine, she taking a break. Yes. So life is easy then. Because uh, back in the day, you had to go in there and, and yeah. fiddle around. Now, now you got to sit in the AC. It's a, and, it's and, a, uh, it's a legend put like this. It's a lot better, yeah. but it's not easier because you know, Anything, uh, this could mimic something differently. You, you, you know, anything can go wrong. You could get a virus. Thing. Yes, you can see that. That's the, the, that's the problem. What he is saying is that there is no replacement for the human being with real eyes and ears checking on these engines. These guys know what they're right, doing. Right. Brain. Yes. The nerve center. Right, right. All right. So I shouldn't be pushing buttons. Right. No, don't push anything. Right. They're extremely skilled and qualified. They are the reason why CUC keeps Cayman running and empowers us to maintain our position as a global leader. There was a story that um, I think my, my, my father told me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Cayman in was, in a, was in a ship yeah. and they couldn't get the engine to start. Right. So they called in the engineer. Okay. The engineer came in with a little box like this and opened it up and there's a little gavel. <laughs> and he went around by the engine, tuk, tuk, tuk. Go around by this engine, tuk, tuk, tuk. By that engine, tuk, tuk, tuk. He said, try her now. <laughs> and then start up. Okay. So he said, well, how much is that? So he said, that'd be $10,000. <laughs> he said, but no, man. He said, but you came here, you just knock around two things and charge me $10,000. He said, oh, don't worry about it. He said, $5 for the knocking. $9,995 for knowing where to knock. <laughs> yeah. You, that, yeah, so the human up. element yeah. is the key. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We talked some more about the right personnel at a facility like this. Then it was time to suit up again because we're going inside the engine room. That's right, inside. Right, Fran okay, says you it's cover big. All for right. the engine room, for the earplugs. Make sure you don't get your ears damaged. We don't want that. Mm. <laughs> I did audio engineering. Okay. Yes, and they in drilled it into my head. You can't get your hearing back. Oh no. And I see you wearing shades too. If you want your yeah, safety glasses. Hey, hey. You. In there. So. Tell me about the, the earplugs. How loud is it going to be when we get in there? It's going to be pretty loud in there. Um, it's, yes. 110 decibels? Yes. The threshold of pain <laughs> is 120. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> so, we, will, we, will we be able to talk? No. All in? All in? What? <laughs> it was time to head out to engine room six. CUC's latest addition to their fleet. Powerful and economical and big. Bigger than a house. A really big house. Actually, CUC's plant is so big, we had to drive a truck just to get there. Here you have it, engine room six. Ah. Uh -huh. I heard a lot about engine room six. Oh yes, the this most is advanced engine room on the plant. Here we have the control room. These are some, some of the circuit breakers for the different engines. 
the steam turbine circuit breakers are here. This um, is exactly what I envisioned. Um, on the other side, yeah, lots of switches and knobs. So, yeah. but in the case uh, that you need to shut down something, this is literally a, a manual override. Right. If, if you, you see, can't like shut in it your down house, have reason, um, a breaker panel yeah. that just kills it. Yeah. But that what these are on a larger scale. Okay. Okay. So this can this kill any so auxiliary. This, this is on right now. Borehole pump number two. Right. You hit that, it won't. The whole system for the borehole pump number two shuts down. Check this out. On is red, and off is green. Vice versa, because it's better to be safe <laughs> with the current off. And you flick it on, and there's a problem. <laughs> yeah. And now. I'm introducing you to our veteran unit operator, Mr. Milligan Solomon. How are you doing, Mr. Milligan? Nice to meet you. Good night, good night. Welcome to my home. All this, right. is, this is where you stay. Yeah, this is my home. Yes, sir. Because this is where I'll be more than my home, real home. Wow. So this is my home. I'm impressed, man, but you keep yeah. the house clean. Yeah. And you keep the house nice and, and there's lot, lots to do. What are you working on right here? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm right now, uh, my pressure temperatures. Right. We're making our rounds now every so much hours we have to do this to find out if any temperature drop anything go wrong so we can tell by this what we see right now let's say 86 now that's one of the temperatures i wanted the pressure and then we can tell if something is wrong when we come back if something drops so low or something go up so high you know so i i'm noticing a trend at your uh, control room right you're monitoring yes recording taking that data making decisions based on where you get in I come to, to engine room six, same thing. Yeah. Constant monitoring. Yeah. And th this is the stuff that while we sleep in, yeah. you, you, well, you, you, you're making rounds. We operators, it's the, it's, the, it's the root of this engine. We are the one that round the engines. Right. So we are the one that, if anything happens, we are in hand to emergency to stop it from any fire, mm -hmm, any mm -hmm. danger, any knocks, any big fuel leaks, any water leak. So we are always constantly here. Make sure that you got your light. Everybody got a light. Yeah, we you like know? we like watching TV. Yeah, we yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah, we, yeah, enjoy, yeah. we yeah. enjoy sitting on the couch really easy. Even watching. me as a worker, when I'm home, the light yeah. go out. Yeah, I get really mad. I yeah, say, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. My TV gone out. But you what know, are you going to do? I gotta believe him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now it was time to put in the earplugs and safety glasses and step into the belly of engine room six. All right, hey, Tom Cruise are getting ready. Let's go. All a 39.7 megawatt diesel power plant, including a 2.7 megawatt waste heat recovery steam turbine. The project costs 85 million, boasts the most fuel efficient generation ever installed by CUC, bringing increased reliability, lower cost to consumers, and reduces the level of emissions into the environment. And this engine provides capacity that intermittent renewables simply do not currently deliver. Reliability of service is the key objective of CUC as it's critical to the quality of life and growth of Cayman's economy. CUC remains committed to meeting the challenges which come with providing a high reliability service on a small island system. This is Engine Room 6. Look at this thing purring in the night. Powering came on.
Next, I got a chance to sit with Mr. Sean Miles, the Senior Systems Operations Supervisor, the man who oversees the team that keeps the lights on. So I asked him, what's the constant thought process? Make sure that my guys are all in place mm -hmm. and at work to be able to deliver for the customer 24 7 365 days of the year somebody have to be here in order to keep us operational well right now as we're sitting down it is past two o'clock in the morning but for you this is normal this is uh, a, a part of your life so first of all why 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 you why, why you would why would you choose to to, to have this lifestyle and we, we, uh, I would say that joining CUC in uh, 1994, mm -hmm. my main interest was the lines department. But after getting in to the operations, I really enjoyed the team and the crew. My idea was to get into the door mm -hmm. and then move to LMD was my idea. But after getting with operations, after 24 years, I'm still here. And you said 365, so that means Christmas night, New Year's Eve. Pirates Weeks, but <laughs> all, all out of the question. I mean, it's not that you can't go. Mm -hmm. It's not that you can't enjoy them, but you have to plan for them. For individuals coming through this department, individuals need to be able to plan for events. You can't just leave and expect to leave your team member hanging mm -hmm. when 12 midnight come and he wants to go home and you decide to you know hit the streets and party in downtown that's what we, we we want the power keep the power we keep on. the power going so that those are some of the challenges that that i can just see from being here tonight uh, but something that we don't know what what is what, what is something that that really is uh, hard for you to deal with one of the hardest things I find uh, dealing with is when we get in situation, unforeseen situations, mm -hmm. when we short on generation and we having prob having issues delivering. I mean, the customer expects us to, you know, to be able to go and s switch the lights on and off, turn the stove on and off, and if power is not there, they're gonna hit back at us. So I mean, one of the most challenging things is when we short on generation is being able to find ways to run, you know, run the units a little harder in some instances just to make sure to deliver. You've been with CUC for a few years. Um, I spoke to, to Franz who um, left other jobs to come here. This seems like an attractive place to, to work. Why do you think it's important to, to get younger Caymanians through the door and to, to help them in their career? Well, young Caymanians coming through the door, one of the things like I would say is hardworking individuals. They have to be reliable. They have to be dedicated, punctual. It's things, it's values that we look for in individuals coming through the door, especially in the, operate, in the operation department. Like I say, our department, 24-7, 365 days of the year, we operate and individuals have to be reliable. They have to be punctual and they have to be disciplined in order to maintain that. You just heard it from Mr. Sean Miles, the senior system systems op operation op operation supervisor. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Back again, sir. Yes, sir. Just had a good conversation with Mr. Sean Miles. Okay. Learned a lot. Yeah, man. Carlos, what are you doing? Checking for outages. Oh, <laughs> I, you, I see you pulling up my area, you know. So. Sorry, I just need to verify. This, uh... you, you want me to get that? Sure. This ACUC control room, good night. ACUC control room, good night. The one for unit 31 is 61. 16361. And it's supposed to be on 163, 64. And then we got the other one there, unit 30. 142. 142, 24 right now.
Can you repeat that? 142.87. The next watch will be 142.87. One forty two eighty four. Okay. Right. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey bro. <laughs> Whenever you need a hand, I'm here. Alright, no problem. But I I, I I learned a lot tonight. I did a I got a tour of the engine. Mm -hmm. I I got to witness the, the power I saw the, the whole thing shaking. Yes. I, I realized that this does not play toys. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. And we had to get, get a truck to get there. Oh, so this yeah. is a this is a big plant. That's engine six. Yes, yeah, engine room six. That's one of six engines. You're right. I got to see the control center. I learned that you guys have the the power to 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 see, control, adjust. Mm -hmm. This is the data center. Um, I got to meet the veteran. Yes. I think that was just him. That was him on the phone. Yes, Mr. Milligan. So yes. 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 You gave me a tour around um, the, the plant. I saw. I saw where the Ching Ching sleep, Carlos. There's a there's a, a, an area that the Ching Ching stop at. They this. They they like this. Yeah, engine room sit down at the back. They love it. But uh, I learned a lot. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going home now. Yes. I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm going home to, to enjoy the AC provided by CUC. Right. Turn on my TV. Thank you very much. Oh, good good, no to, good nice. to hang with you guys. Nice enjoy. Having you. Keep the power on. Yes. What time is now? It's Three. now 2.30 two actually. All right. 2.30 Matt Brown is out. All, All right. right. No problem. <laughs> I was out of the door, leaving Franz and Carlos at the controls, ensuring that you and I have the power. Hey! Jesus.